Annie, the uh, ninth edition of the Kajaturian International Festival is nearly on us. Um, and sort of in the middle of December is an unusual time to have a festival. Why do you do it now? Oh, uh, you know, um, it's uh, not the first time uh, we are uh, organizing the festival in December. Uh, it's like, uh, maybe you know, we have uh, four uh, annual festivals and uh, the Hachaturian International Festival is the last one. Uh, uh, it was established in 2013 by the Armenian State Symphony Orchestra and its uh, principal director and um, conductor Sergei Sambadian. And uh, since then, uh, every year in December, we have uh, invited uh, a lot of international uh, musicians, uh, hosted them and uh, organized uh, very beautiful concerts. Uh, this year, uh, we have um, very beautiful, amazing concerts and uh, very interesting concert programs. So. I was going to ask, um, before we get into talking about the program, Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit about Khachaturian himself and his relationship with Yerevan, uh, because um, he's always thought of as sort of the, the, the totem composer for Armenia from the last yes. sort of hundred years or so. Uh, and where does he play, what sort of a, a part does he play in the life of modern day Yerevan music making? Oh, uh, he does play a very big role in uh, Yerevan's uh, contemporary classical music life culture. Uh, we have uh, named uh, this festival after him. We play his compositions. Uh, we have uh, a separate institution, the Hachadurian International Competition, also named after him. And uh, the participants play his uh, compositions also. Um, so the Hachadurian International Festival, also uh, one of the Concert is dedicated to his uh, works. So, uh, yeah, uh, he, uh, he has a big, very big role in uh, a modern cultural life of Armenia. And while he is perhaps the, uh, the best known uh, composer from, uh, from Armenia uh, in uh, most of the world, are there other composers who you think are of a sort of comparable stature from Armenia? Uh, do you mean Armenian composers, contemporary com composers, or uh, just composers who could? Well, I think um, uh, Armenian composers, it's quite hard off the top of my head to give a list of uh, well-known Armenian composers. And I just wondered where, you know, Hachaturian, if you like, at the top of the pyramid. And yes, how big is yes, the pyramid? He, he's definitely on the top, but we have many, many uh, Armenian composers. One of them, Tigran Masudan, who's uh, fortunately still with us. He's... Um, uh, organizes even concerts. There are concerts dedicated to him. Recently, we had one, and uh, he, uh, he's a very good friend of the orchestra. Uh, I can mention Robert Amirhanian and Khajadu uh, Rabet uh, Desyan, Sergei Aslamazian, a lot of uh, very great com Armenian composers uh, who can stand uh, in line with uh, Ram Khajaduryan. Looking at uh, this year's program, there's quite an array of Hachaturian's music. There's um, the piano concerto, which is quite well known, but there's also um, quite a lot of shorter pieces or excerpts of the ballets. I mean, his two most famous ba ballets, Gaiena and Spartacus, yeah. yes. um, which are, you know, have, um, I mean, Spartacus has a, 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 one of the best tunes, I think, in classical music. Um, for the uh, 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 which is used very often in television programs around yes. the world. Um, but apart from that, what would you like to draw attention to in his music that's in the program? You know, uh, talking about his bellies, yes, Gayane, Spartacus, as you said, uh, this year, uh, this year's festival includes a very special concert. It's uh, called Hachaturian Jazz. And uh, we have made uh, jazz arrangements for his ballets. And uh, yes, it's, it's going to be a very uh, interesting um, concert, yes, with his uh, ballets and uh, jazz arrangements. 
And uh, also we are going to uh, play Aram uh, only Aram Puchatrian's program on the 15th of December. Yes, that's uh, Spartacus, yes, the piece, uh, two pieces and the piano concerto in uh, D flat major. And it's not just uh, uh... Hashaturian and the uh, uh, Russian composers in there, is it? Yes. The, you, mm -hmm. you have one evening of, um, of, of American music with Bernstein, and in there is Friedrich Gulder, who was well known as a, more known as a pianist, a Viennese pianist than he was as a composer, but his concerto for, for, for cello and wind, um, and uh, a rather interesting young soloist, I think. Yes, yes, uh, Anastasia Kopekina, who is uh, going to be uh, the soloist. Yes, she's going to uh, play the cello and uh, I'm sure a very beautifully um, performed, yes, uh, Friedrich Gulda's uh, concerto for cello and wind orchestra. And where are the performances held? Ah, the performance is always uh, held in the same place. Uh, again, uh, Khachaturian's uh, concert hall, yes, named after Aram Khachaturian, a beautiful uh, small concert hall, which I think you have attended during the summit. Yes, in September, we had a beautiful concert. And was, was the hall built during his lifetime? Yeah, yes. And, and was he around? And renovated, of course. And, and at what point was it named after him, the hall? No, uh, it's the Opera House, uh, and it has a, a kind of uh, two sides. From one side, we have the Opera House uh, named after Sven Darian, yes. And the other side, uh, the smaller hall was named after him. Um, do, do you know whether Kachaturian himself ever conducted in that? Yes, yes, he has. He, he did. He, yes, he, he uh, often uh, came to Armenia and conducted and performed. And, uh, you know, uh, I was very much surprised when I knew that how uh, often he traveled the world. He was in so, so many uh, countries that it's really hard to imagine this times when it was uh, not very easy to travel. He had been in so many uh, countries and uh, performed with so many uh, famous artists. And, you know, his legacy has stayed with us. And uh, today, it's the same happening with our orchestra. We have so many tours uh, around the tour a year and um, both uh, traveling and inviting uh, international musicians. To our yes, team. I saw Hachaturian conduct on his last tour of London uh, to London, yes. uh, which I think was 1977. Uh, thereabouts. Um, and yes. anyway, I saw him conducting his second symphony. It was, he was a very good conductor too. Of course. Um, not all composers are. Lots of composers are quite good at writing the music, but not so good at conducting it. But he, yes. he was good. Um, tell me a, a little about Kachaturin in uh, Yerevan, because uh, he, he didn't live there all the time, did they? He had a yes, house no. there. But he, no, he didn't. Uh, yeah, he didn't live. He was in uh, Russia most of his life, living in most of his life. And uh, he had a very beautiful small house in Yerevan, uh, which was um, just um, made like a museum today. Yes, a museum house uh, named after him with all his um, belongings uh, staying in the house and uh, the piano, beautiful piano and uh, concert hall. And uh, so it's uh, you, when you go there, you feel like um, you know, his, his presence. <laughs> yes, well, even a few of his clothes and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. and his rugs and things. I mean, it's, it's yes. quite a modest little house. A lot, um, of, lot of, yes, yes. But, 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 but it, you can tell it's definitely sort of place where a composer would feel at home. Annie, I wanted to talk a little bit about the orchestra because it's a relatively new orchestra too, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the orchestra is rather young, but uh, very active uh, in the world of classical music. As I told you, uh, we have uh, a lot of international tours and uh, uh, in February, we're going to have a big uh, UK tour uh, and um, we also have uh, the four uh, annual uh, classical music festivals, as I told you. Uh, there is uh, uh, the Khachaturian International Competition, which is a separate institution, but we all, uh, the uh, staff, the orchestra work for it. So we, we are just very, very active. <laughs> and so this, it's only a week long, this, the, this particular festival, the Khachaturian Festival. Um, uh, well, it's not a week long. No, it's it's got no, it's five. Longer. It's longer. It's uh, yeah. for two weeks. 
It's two and weeks. It, so it's five, it's five, five concerts. Five concerts over two weeks. Since mm -hmm. it's the same orchestra playing, that's quite a lot of rehearsing for. Yes, for, a lot. A lot of. Yes. And uh, I wanted uh, to talk about uh, the um, uh, concert which will happen on the 15th of uh, December with soloist Massimo Spada from Spain, as I told you, with conductor Celis and Batian. It's going to be a very special concert because of a secret occasion I, want to, I don't want to reveal yet, just to say that it's connected with UNICEF. And I uh, told you also that uh, Yevra News and other channels are going to uh, live stream the concerts. So uh, if you're interested, I hope we'll find time to watch it. Annie, uh, I mean, Armenia feels like a country that is quite isolated in many ways from much of the mainstream of, of European music life. And I wondered, um, it, it feels almost like an island uh, in, a, in an area of uh, where it doesn't have as much going on as perhaps it, um, you'd expect in a, a comparable country further west. Um, and I wondered whether sometimes in Yerevan it feels that sense of being a bit of a, um, uh, I don't know, a beacon, a fire in the, in the wilderness, something that, that's shining out in a, an area which doesn't have much going on. Do you feel like that sometimes? Yes, yes, that's definitely. As I told you, we are just uh, geographically and um, uh, say uh, very uh, extended just uh, its reputation yes the festival's reputation and the geography of participants yes the uh, artists were inviting extend so well beyond Armenia so and uh, we're trying to do our best to, to just uh, develop to um, I don't know to uh, make our orchestra uh, more um, just to, to raise awareness of uh, Hajat legacy and in terms of the audience, is the audience almost entirely local or do people fly into the festival? Oh, uh, f uh, currently uh, Armenia's audience and Armenia's population is not local because we have a lot of Russians and uh, yes, you know, uh, coming to Armenia and uh, staying here for, and we have uh, a lot of Indians, uh, I don't know, we have uh, English people, yes, here in Armenia, so no, exactly, uh, mostly local, of course, mostly local, but also we have guests, we invite uh, representatives from embassies, always uh, present uh, during our concerts. Okay. Annie, thank you very much and um, good luck with the festival this year. Thank you so much for the interview. It was nice to talk to you.